Karen here and welcome to my channel. Now I've decided I need to make this eclectic journal and I've gone and got this oh, pad when I was in the UK and since having moved into the apartment it is the only pad I left out. So I got this guard, botanical garden pad from the works, it's gorgeous. Really, I think I showed it in a craft haul. So I decided to use this, and what I've done, I've made a cover from one of the sheets of paper, and I've put Mod Podge over it. So it, it's a soft cover, but it strengthens it. And then of the, I made it six by eight, eight by six, and then the piece I've got left, I decided I would make a um, little flippy out for the actual journal and with this one I'm going to actually use my what's it called forest moss to ink and you can still ink with Mod Podge by the way ink round it with this I thought the green went very well with it very lightly like this so how are we all doing today well I hope um, it's a beautiful sunny day here 30 degrees uh, so but we're not going out today Oh, I tell a lie, we are. We're expecting an Amazon delivery to the hub. So, um, we're going off to get that. We've um, invested in a drone. Has anybody got a drone? Have they used a drone? <laughs> um, as we're moving to this house in the country and we want to do renovations, and remember I said to you, I'm thinking of getting a... Um, YouTube channel for it um, I thought I would do uh, do some drone footage with it now I've made pockets for this as well with another sheet some of the paper from another sheet just very quick it's just to use up this piece that was left as I didn't really want to um, waste it and I thought just a quick pocket flip out thing again I've also mosh podged this as well by the way like that no that's the long one up there I've done that wrong that's the shorter one there yeah there and there I need to ink that one now don't I because I've done it around the wrong way. I had been very careful at trying to keep them in the right place, but didn't get very far, did I? So these just need sticking on to this. Okay, I've got all that stuck on. Now, I was gonna show you, but I made a bit of a mess up with this one <laughs> glued the wrong side to start off with <laughs> um, I'm using the block Fabri-Tac now I've also got these I'm, the other thing I'm going to be doing is also using uh, ephemera that I've already got ready made or I've been gifted so this was gifted to me in a, a happy mail swap so I thought I could use that in there and that one maybe in there or in fact I think that one in there is probably better that one there or that one there it's a bit long isn't it those two but that one in there and then I've got a couple of these from the um, Digital Collage Club I thought I'd put in like that which I will finish these 
you'll see all this actually finished when I've done the journal and I'm going to decorate the front there but I'm not sure what with at the moment now the next thing is papers to go in here and I've got some collage papers here which I think came from um, Artie Mays and maybe Yvonne Preston this is from the um, no, yeah, the old design shop. And then I've got some coffee, no, tea dyed paper. <laughs> I've got a book page. It's got some glue on that I found. I've got a map page. And, you know, I just picked this out randomly out of a whole pile I've got. I hadn't realised I've got Ukraine there and the Russian Federation there. I hadn't even realised that when I picked that up. One of the other things I'm going to use is a page from here and as we're in June, as you can see I kind of hoard it because I do rather like it and I really hate using it but I will. Um, well that's a big double sheet isn't it? Oh, I'll have to keep that for something. I use that like that it's only a small piece no it's already come out I'm actually thinking I like this because where is it here because it's got it double-sided I think that would be better so I'm gonna pull that oh dear um, craft knife I think is needed it so I think I'll use that because I can use that both sides then will look a lot better and I'm going to rip so I think I might just rip down there I'll use that like that for the moment I might use more of that I'm not sure then I've got this one I've been using lately the Oxford companion to French literature um, from 1959 Dorset County library <laughs> and actually didn't realize this was in their reference department I think it's even got a barcode on it yes 1959 so I'm going to tear some pages out of here as well I'm not really bothered I don't know much about French literature at all. Oops, take that there. Like that. And then I've also got this book. As you can see, I really am trying to use what I've got. The photo yeah, Photographic Guide to the Birds of Britain and Europe. I've picked up over here at a charity shop. Oh, look at the little chick being fed. But it's got pictures on one side and then all words uh, printing on the other side. So I thought I'd be able to use this for putting pockets on. But this could be just left because there's some gorgeous pictures in here. Now I thought I'd go for some brightly coloured birds. Just looking like this one at the moment, the yellows. So does it really matter? No, I don't like that one. Um, oh, it's got the robin on. I'm not very good uh, with what birds are. I think I'm going to go for this one. Let's hope it comes out all right, or maybe I shouldn't even try that. So we'll have that page as well. So I've now got to put this lot together into a signature. I'm not tea dyeing these, 
because again I thought I could do some stenciling on these and I might do some stitching as well down the edges and make some fold overs um, and as you know I have this pile here of well you know the scraps but I've also got these so I'm thinking I could put some ruffles and some page edges down before I actually put it all together so I think I will do that next okay I've put the pages together I've got some um, collage just three printed collage pages in this from I think it was Artie Mays or Yvonne Preston some I've stenciled on them on the white sides some coffee paper some of that um, 1959 book some more tea paper and I've put one of my not ruffles sort of page ends and I've made it a little tuck spot another piece from the collage papers that have also been stamped no no stenciled I folded this piece over and put one of the paper strips on there some Edith Holden some more tea dyed paper just a page, a random page that I had I put in. I'm going to be sort of decorating this somehow. Another page from that 1959 book, tea paper, some matte paper, an invoice that I've coffee stained. Another, um, this was from I think the design sh old design shop, another collage sheet that's been stenciled. I've put in a coffee and uh, tea dyed envelope. I'm actually I was going to seal this and cut it but I actually think I'm going to leave that and I'm going to put some paper inside there. This is a page from a bird book. Um, as you saw some lovely pictures there. I'm going to decorate there. A couple of pages of tea stain paper. Back to the bird book. The other side of the envelope which I will slit open along there. Some more stenciling and this page from the invoice I've just done a tuck with a page strip down there, a ruffle on the map page um, and I found this so I've put this as a tuck, it was on a bit of white card, a bit of material so I've just made that as a tuck and then um, more book page and on the side of this to decorate it I've put some lace and a page edge tea paper the other side of the um, Edith Holden. I put lace on the other side of this bit where I tucked it that way. So I've put some lace on there, some more stenciling. This is another sort of tuck spot. I'm not sure if I'll put anything in that one. We'll see how the decorating goes. More book page, more tea paper, and then we're at the back. Now I've left some of the cotton on some of it. Some of it is a little bit higher as you can see then the actual pipe, the actual book will just slightly now I've got to sew this in so let go I'm gonna do just a straight three hole pamphlet stitch and with that oh dear put that there um, it all straight isn't it put that one there and I've got to get out the right way that way yeah so I usually use a book but I've seen some people just go straight through so I'm going to give it a go find that difficult I think I'm reverting to the book or it is just very thick to get through at the moment probably so um, excuse me when I try and get my book out that's it yeah I definitely prefer this way it is a lot easier yeah so you push Yes, definitely a lot easier for me anyway. Through there.
Okay, so I've sewn the signature in. If you heard any clanking when I started doing it, I'm really sorry. I keep forgetting. If you put things on here, when you're on a video, it comes out so loud. I've got to learn to put them to the side. I'm not all on here where it clanks away. So that's all put in. So now I can decorate. I'll probably do some more page strips. To be truthful, I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't know where I want pockets. And so I wasn't sure about the page edge strips, about lace. So I decided to sew it in, put some pockets and etc. in, which I'll do next. And um, also I've got an idea for the cover. I've got some lovely big bit of lace I'm thinking of putting over the front. Um, and then I've got some journal cards. The idea is, is that I fill this with things from my um, stash, <laughs> which I've got here. Well, this isn't all of it, but these are the really made up ones, or it's been like this one in Happy Mail. Sorry, I didn't, there's out of camera there. In Happy Mail. Um, and then these are when I first started sewing, some journal cards. Um, I probably might even put this in. Then again, I might put it in the altar book. I don't know. I think this might go in this one. I made that on camera. This, oh, it's Halloween, so we don't really want that, do we? Um, this was from a friend, a pocket. I definitely think I might use that. Yeah, I think I will use that. That was from a friend, Wendy Townsend, so I think I'll use that. I'll keep that out. Oh, I found these two cards amongst my bird stuff that I got collected. I'd obviously cut them out of magazines, so I'm going to use them. Um... And I think I might use, remember the envelope flip I made? I might just use this as well as a journaling spot over the top of one of the pages. I think that would look quite nice on one of the, um, or I know where, one of those uh, book pages, so if I can find it there, or oh, it might be too long. Yeah, it might just be too long for going on there, might not. Oh, I don't know. If I put a little paper clip. Oh, I quite like that. What do you think? I quite like that on there. Yeah, I think I might keep that on there with a little paper clip. And what I might also do is just put some coffee paper here and here so you've got quite a lot of journaling space there. Hmm, now that's a thought. Anyway. I'm going to be back with some decorating once I've sorted out some pockets, etc. I have decided to end this video there um, because I realised it was getting a bit long. And I'll come back with a second part where I do some decorating in here. So I'll speak to you again soon. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, which I hope you have. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you to all my current subscribers. Thanks a lot. Bye.